Let's get started. Good morning and welcome to today's webinar. My name is Eli from Pies Energy, technical sports for North American sales team. And I am excited to be one of the presenters for this session. Chris and Zan will also join me in today's webinar. Hey, Chris, Zan, are you there? Could you guys briefly introduce yourself one by one? Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Chris. Uh, I'm the product manager of Pice, and uh, I'm in Los Angeles now. So if any question, please uh, connect to me. Hi, my name is Zian. I'm a field application engineer for Pice Energy. Uh, if you have any uh, questions with the webinar, you can put it in the chat box and I will uh, answer them. Okay, thank you guys. We are about to begin the presentation. Uh, today, we will be discussing troubleshooting basics of your Pice battery. If you have any questions throughout the presentation, free to type your question in the dialog box. Zan and uh, Chris will give you the answer. And uh, after the presentation, there will be a free question session where you can raise your question with us on your microphone. And uh, I have uploaded this profi profile to the dialog box. You can download as you need. Okay, let's move on. Before we dive into our discussion, I want to give you an overview of what we will cover today. First, we're gonna discuss discuss some uh, the common the communication issues with the inverter, followed by the battery indicator light issues, and comes to the third part, which I think is what you are most concerned about, is the charging and the discharging problem during daily use. After that, some tips for extending battery service life will be given in part four. And the last part is free question part. Free to throw your question to us, and we are glad to help you with that. Let's get started with our first topical troubleshoot, the communication issues. In this issue, in this part, I will devote lungs to the description of the deep storage, the communication cable coin sequence, and the, the welding. Because most of the communication problem we receive, we receive from our customers are due to this basic reason. Okay, I want to figure out to yourself what version of the battery you are dealing with first because the different battery version may have different settings during installation. And uh, we got ABC3 version of 48100R for now. It's easy to distinguish by appearance. The difference between A version and the B version is we change the console port to RJ45 and uh, change check change the link one and the link zero to the horizontal line. And the, the difference with the C version is we increase the deep switch to 60 jet to adopt more inverters. Okay, let's go on. If you are filled in communication with the inverter, I want to check the deep switch first. The deep switch is represent the different communication protocol with different uh, inverter. For now, we are working with more than 18 inverters like SOAG, SMA with group, with close group, close loop communication and the Schneid net, net, midnight with open loop. Okay, let's see the deep switch checklist for AB version. The left side is the inverter brand and the right side is the corresponding graphic. Let's take the SOAG for example. The second one needs to pull upward, so the, posi the, posi the position of the deep switch is down, up, down, down. On A and B version battery, 
likewise the the deep storage of the mega level is all up and uh, we and uh, we check the checklist for C version look carefully look carefully at the li list for C version the only difference is the last extra two deep storage are all at the bottom per position and the first four switch are the same with A and B version. It should be noted here is the position of the deep switch need to adjust to be adjusted before starting the battery. Okay, next to the communication cable coin sequence. The communication communication cable is linked between the battery and the inverter. Here is the checklist for A version and the number one to eight on the left side represent the eight point in the cable in the cable container or the connector. Let's see the battery and one three is for RS four eight five particle and the three four is for CAN particle. Let's check the inverter side. For example, if you want to link the battery to SOARC, you need to change the coin sequence on the inverter and the, fir the first coin corresponds to the third, the third one on the battery end and the five to four. For the electronic hybrid inverter is four to one and the five to three. Remember, it just needs to change the coin on the inverter end. Here is the checklist for BC version. The difference with the A version is the coin sequence of battery end has changed. One, two, one, two, and seven, eight is for RS485 particle, and the four, five is for the CAN particle. Thanks to this change, the standard communication cable can be used to communicate with most inverters. Only the Vertronica Victron MPP focus inverter need to adjust the cable. And it should be noted here is if you are using CAN communication protocol, plug, plug the cable into the CAN port of the inverter and the battery. RS485 protocol to the RS485 port. Okay, next is the rail link. For installation of one group is much easier. The first step is to move the deep switch to the corresponding position. And the second step is to get the suitable communication cable, checking the cable list according to your battery version and link the battery with the inverter. The third step is to connect uh, the power cable, positive to positive, negative to negative. For multiple, multiple batteries is almost the same. First, the, the deep switch, um, but you don't need to change on the sleeve one. And uh, next, connect the two battery using the standard communication cable, link one to link zero and then link the master battery to the inverter with the suitable cable. Last, last is the power cable. For installation of more than two batteries in one group, maximum eight batteries. First is always the deep switch. And the, the next is the communication cable between the batteries, link one to link zero and then connect the inverter and the battery with the suitable communication cable. And the last is power cable. Bus bar is recommended to connect the power cable between the battery and the inverter when there is more than two batteries. There are two ways to connect the power cable. First way is connect each battery directly to the bus bar and bus bar to the inverter. And the second way is every two battery, connect every two battery in parallel first. 
and uh, connect one of them to the bus bar and the bus bar to the inverter. When the battery quantity is odd, first way is recommended. If the quantity is even, the second way is recommended. Let's see some installation case from our customers. First case is using the first way, each battery to the bus bar. And the second case is using the sec second way. For the installation of more than eight batteries or more than one group, a hub is required to build up the communication, communication between batteries and the inverter. Here is the deep switch list for the hub and the battery group list for master battery of each group. And here is the here is the cable checking list for hub. Okay, let's see the wiring of hub. First, the, the deep switch of the master battery of each group need to adjust according to the battery group list for hub. You don't need to change those on the sleeve battery. And next, the cable between the batteries link one to link zero. And then connect each master battery to the hub using the standard communication cable. And then the link port one of the hub to the port zero on the right side, which also using the standard communication cable. And then connect the hub with inverter. Attention here, you should check the cap cable leads for hub and choosing the right can or RS485 port and last connect the power cable. And here is some real case of hub installation for our customers. Okay, next is to check the inverter sighting. Let's take the SOAC for example. Click on the sighting icon and from the battery set up. The BM list, BMS EC battery is here and set it to the zero zero. It's for CAN communication protocol. It's the key for communication. And the rest are the setting of operating parameters which are mentioned in detail in our integration menu. You can get all the inverter integration menu from our website and the Google Drive, or you can just email us for, for help. If the communication fault remains, the following are possible costs. First, check if all the battery, uh, all the cable are tightly plugged or in good condition because bad contact can affect the communication. The solution is plug in tightly or replace with the new one. And then check the battery firmware version on the happy terminal. Oh, by the way, I would like to introduce our brand new happy terminal named the BMS, BMS QT. The new one is easier to operate it and the display battery option data clearly, clearly compared with the older one. Email us to get the early access to it. Okay, let's get back to the subject. If the firmware is too old, it may not be able to communicate with some inverters. Contact Pites for the latest firmware and follow the battery firmware upgrade menu to upgrade. And next is check the battery code is lost. Check and next is check, check if the battery code is lost. It will also affect communication. If it lost, the add button will appear here and place input the S number of the battery. Okay, next is to check your running order. 
first, you should uh, turn on all the battery power button first and uh, only press the SW switch of the master battery and uh, to let the master battery wake up the sleeve batteries. Otherwise, the sleeve battery may not have the communication with the system. And last is to check if the battery version are the same in one system. If there are different battery version in your system, first upgrade the latest firmware and uh, follow the mixing rule. Take the newer version as the master battery in your system. If the communication is still not successful after following above troubleshooting steps, please contact Pice for help. Okay, let's move to the next part. Troubleshoot, troubleshoot the battery indicator light abnormal display. Thanks, thanks to the BMS QT, it's easier for us to check the alarm information. The alarm message will be directly displayed at the alarm bar. So when the alarm light flash, the following alarm may occur. The voltage of the battery pack or single cell is high and it will display this message. The volt state stands for the pack's voltage and the battery volt state stands for the CO voltage. And the, the Bread with a number means which battery is go wrong in the group. And the HV means the high voltage. So when there, when there is a high voltage, it needs to discharge the battery. And uh, it could also be the low voltage, it needs to charge the battery. And the third situation is the charge discharge current exceeds the rated current. It needs to adjust the charging current on the inverter or reduce the loss to match the system rated output power. And the battery temperature, it could be high or it could be high or low. It needs to restore the temperature to normal operating temperature. The second state is the alarm lights con constantly, constantly light up, means the battery is under, under protection. You can also check the alarm information on the BMS QT. It could be the battery pack or single seal is over or under voltage. It needs to discharge or charge the battery uh, when there is over current, it needs to adjust the current and uh, reduce loss. And if the short, if the short cycle occurred to battery, please pay your attention to this situation. It may cause injury if uh, improperly, improperly handled. First, you need to check if there is voltage between the positive and the negative pole when the power off. If there is no voltage, restart and see if it works normally. If it can be charged or discharged normally, or there is a voltage when the battery power off. It, it please contact pilots for help. And the battery is, and it could be the battery is over or under temperature. It means to restore the temperature to the operating, normal operating temperature. And uh, it can also be the system fault. If the error code appeared in system fault line, please, please contact Pies and send the screenshot to us. And the third condition is there is no indicator lights light up. First, 
check if the battery can charge normally. If the light returns normal, it means the battery auto, but, uh, auto power. If the battery can charge normally, but the light cannot return to normal, it could be the light build damage. Contact the pies for after sale service. If the battery cannot be charged normally, check the battery state on the BMS QT. If none of the information displayed, the battery may die because the battery upgrade is interpreted interrupt or because the battery upgrade is interrupt or the wrong firmware is upgraded to the battery. Please follow the recovery menu to recover the battery. If the alarm lights still on or the problem recur, please contact us. Okay, let's move to next part. Troubleshoot the charging discharging issues. In this part, we're going to talk about the charging discharging current limited by several possible factors and uh, how to solve it. First, check the battery SOC. Recommended charge current varies with SOC. The current will be limited when the battery SOC close to 100%, which is normal, is to protect the battery. And then check if the inverter charging current is lower than the battery rated charging current. You can connect more inverters in power low to achieve the rated current. And uh, check and uh, check if the charging current in the inverter sighting is said to be lower than the battery rated current. The current will be limited at the set set value, and then you can set the value to rated charging current of the batteries. And next, check if only PV provide power sources in systems. A insufficient, insufficient lightning may lead to a decrease in charging current. You can connect the system to the grid to achieve the rate current. And next is check the battery temperature. It needs to restore the temperature to normal operation temperature, or you can contact pipes for the firmware which has a better low, low temperature performance. And uh, check next is check if the pack or the seal voltage is high. You don't do you don't have to do much with this situation. Leave the battery to bring leave the battery charging to bring the battery to equalization condition and uh, equalize, equalize, equalize the voltage of each cell. Last is to check if the any if any battery barcode are missing. The battery without barcode cannot be charged. And next is the factors in limited the discharging current which are almost the same with the charging one. First, check, check the SOC. If the SOC is too low, and let's uh, check the power sources or in or the inverter work mode. And then check if the load power is lower than the system rated output power, which also is no, is, which is also no, and next, check if the rated inverter charge discharging current is lower than the battery rated current. And next is check if the discharging current is limited by the inverter setting. And then 
check the battery temperature. And last is to check the battery barcode are missing. And check the, uh, and it, uh, last is to check if the battery codes are missing. And then not, and the next problem is unable to discharge or charge. First, check if the indicator light is normal. If it dis display normally, check if any barcode are missing. Battery with the missing barcodes cannot be charged or discharged normally. Please follow the menu to add the barcode, then restart. If the light is abnormal, check the alarm information on the BMS test. And the, the battery the battery charging discharging modes may turn off on the protection state. You can ask us you can ask us to help you erase the alarm state. If there is no light, first turn off the battery power and uh, use a multimeter to measure the voltage between the positive and negative cord. If there is no voltage, restart and to see if it can work normally. If it, it cannot work or there is voltage when the battery power off, the battery may be short circuited, and the contact pipes for help. If the battery still cannot be charged or discharged properly oh, after following the, the above the steps, please contact us for help. Okay, next part, I'm going to show some good usage hobbies of lithium-ion batteries to extend its service life. First, correct running order of stand start up and shut down procedures. If you follow the wrong order, you can it can cause the battery barcode loss. Although we have already solved this problem, you can upgrade the latest firmware to avoid this situation. And the next step is avoid extreme temperature. The extreme temperature will affect the uh, battery health and uh, avoiding exposing the battery to the direct sunlight or freezing temperature. Also to avoid overcharging and the deep, discharge, deep discharging, it can lead, lead to a degrade, decrease in the battery life and uh, try to avoid overcharging when the battery SOC reach 100% and uh, avoid discharging the battery and uh, discharging the battery above 20% is recommended to extend its lifespan. And the last is the correct way to store the battery. First, check the storage environment condition. Store the battery in a cool and dry place without direct sunlight and keep the battery in a safe place, disconnect the battery from loads and the charging device, and uh, make sure the battery SOC is between 40 to 60% per during storage and uh, the self discharge of the battery is around 3% per month and uh, it needs to charge the battery to more than 90% for the long-term storage. And the last is the battery needs to be recharged every six months to more than 90%. Okay, let's it's come to our last part. You can, op you can open your mic and raise your questions. Chris will reply. If you if we can't 
stop it on seat, please email us. We will reply you within 24 hours. Is there a way to get um, all the battery chart and the voltage parameters? Uh, sorry, oh, sir. Uh, 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 can I say again? I, I, I'm not uh, clearly about the question. The the all of the voltage parameters for um, bulk charging and you know, float and minimum and shut off and all that stuff. I don't, it's not uh, in the manual. Uh, I, I think we could provide these uh, parameters for you uh, after the meeting. And uh, we, we, we have made it um, before the, uh, in, in our um, guideline. And we, we could okay. send you the um, fill. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I need I need it for Solar, um, and then that that program that you were showing the the BMSQT. Okay, uh, sir. Maybe uh, if you uh, you need more uh, parameter setting, uh, you could send me uh, by email what you need, and uh, I will provide you this information, and uh, I will I will, I will uh, give you my email. Okay. Okay. Is there anyone have questions? Yeah, this is Doug, now Solar Electric. I have a quick question. Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, can we can hear. Yeah. Can you repeat your question? Yeah, so um, I, I kind of joined late, but you were showing some error code information. Is that with the new monitor unit on the batteries? Is that where you're getting that, that monitoring information? Yeah, yes, this this one. Yeah, so this all this high voltage battery high voltage and all that kind of stuff that's being read from the uh, that new monitor that you have available. Yes, you can email us for the for the new software. Oh, is it but it only works with the new firmware? Is that what you're saying? Uh, I don't get your. Okay, where do, where is this information coming from? From the, the battery. You need to connect the RS two three two cable to the battery and the, uh, on your computer. Okay, so you're using we're using hyper terminal. Yes, it's the new hyper terminal. We named the BMS QT. Okay, so there's is there's not a device that we can use for this, a new monitor unit. I thought there was a new monitor unit. It can uh, monitor user. Uh, uh, it can see the real time battery data. But uh, you 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 mean you want to monitor uh, from your phone or the. No, 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 no. Okay. BMSQT, is that a app? Is that software or is that hardware running also on a computer? What is BMSQT? It's a Hi, the, soft. Uh, BMSQT is a uh, software and uh, it could be used with the battery, no, uh, no matter which version of the battery you have installed. It okay. could Does, be super. And it only. It only talks to one battery at a time. Uh, 
now the new uh, the latest uh, version of BMS Qt it could be work with all all the no matter bus uh, master battery or uh, slave battery it just uh, connect to the master battery and you will uh, read the master battery and the slave battery information got it okay and okay. then th that that is done through a uh, serial adapter kind of like using hyper terminal to update firmware is that what we need or is there another hardware device that we need to use bms qt Uh, this BMS QT is aimed to replace hyperterminal, so like uh, you just use it as what you use to use hyperterminal. There's okay, no but, extra but we still need an adapter, right? A serial adapter to uh, go to from US, the, USB yeah. to serial. It's to connect the battery to your PC. Got it. Yeah. Okay. And one more question: <laughs> um, Is BMS QT can we use it? and access batteries, multiple batteries through the hub? Or do I have to connect to the master battery? Um, uh, actually, no, uh, it could not be used with hub. It only okay. can be connected to the master battery. Got it, okay, thank you. Okay, uh, you're welcome. Is and uh, one, one quick, more quick question. BMSQT is available now? <laughs> can yes, I download yes. it today? Okay. Yes, yes. You can email us for, uh, we can set, set you. Set you. Uh, I think I have you, your uh, email address. I, I, I will send you after the meeting. Yeah, shoot me a, a link to it and I'll, uh, I'll download it and, and uh, try it out with my, my battery okay. system at home. Okay, I will send you the Google Drive link. And we will upload to our website. Okay, can, are we able to put a link to that download on our website also? Sure. Sure, I will uh, put the put the put the BMS QT in the download center. Okay, so excellent. That, Thank you. You're welcome. Is there anyone have question free to ask? I'm I'm good. That's all the questions I had. Okay, thank you. Uh, it seems there is no one have the question, and the, the webinar will will stop here and. Uh, we will meet you in the next month's webinar. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Uh, thank you, thanks for coming, bye.